And hi everybody out there, Mark Mannering here again from Class Training with another three tips in three minutes, more or less. And we're going to cover some great shortcuts with Google Chrome, uh, the browser, and a lot of people, including myself, uh, recommend it over Microsoft Edge or whatever. Google Chrome is lean and mean and works really well. And the first tip is just browsing around and clicking other pages. Now, as you all know, instead of going to a particular link, for example, courses here, and I want to click Excel, if I click Excel there or anything else with the left mouse, it will replace the current page. Now, some of you might know that you can instead right click the link and a shortcut comes up and I normally go open link in new tab. Now that opens up a new page up the top there and I can go straight away to the new page or the new tab and I can look at the other information and quickly jump back and forth. This is really good when you've got a couple of pages or you need to have a couple of pages opened up in your accounting package or whatever it might be. Another way is that you can go to any other link and instead of right clicking, you can come down to the link and instead of uh, uh, just using the normal mouse or left click, you hold down the control key and click the other link. And that's another way to open up a tab. You can see it opening up at the top there and I can go click and have a look at the particular information. Now the second tip here involves the startup pages that open up as soon as you start Google Chrome. Now a lot of people know about the bookmarks at the top here or favorites, uh, but what happens when I start Google if I don't know this particular shortcut, I need to start up my uh, other pages. So for example, my Arlo or booking system, I've got to go right click, open that, and then I come across here and I go to my zero, I've got to go right click and open that. And up the top there, are my three pages. Now instead of doing that manually, it'd be really good if I could have those three pages or tabs at the top open up automatically. Now to do that, we go across here into the settings, top right hand corner of Google Chrome. We go to the three dots here and come down to settings. Now we scroll all the way down and we'll find the startup pages. There they are, or there it is there, the on startup um, section and I want to open up a specific page or set of pages. I click the option here and it comes down and says add a new page. No, I'm going to use current pages that are already opened up, the three in the top left hand corner there. So I go click and automatically it shows up the particular pages I've got opened up now. So when I close down Google Chrome and I come back tomorrow or whatever, I start up Google Chrome, those three pages, those three tabs in the top left will open up automatically for me. Now all I need to do is just close this down and I don't even have to have these open, I can close all those and if I close down my Google Chrome and I'm now back at my desktop, so as soon as I start Google Chrome tomorrow or whenever, open it up and straight away it opens up those three pages in the top left there. Okay, and the last big tip, very important, I use this all the time, is when you download anything from any particular website using Google Chrome. I like to be prompted where I'd like to save or download the file. So again, to do that we go to the settings uh, menu here, or sorry, the three dots menu. We come down to settings, opens up. I just go to control end on the keyboard. It takes me right down the bottom. There are the three pages I did earlier that open up automatically. There's an advanced section here. Clicking that, scrolling down, opens up a few more extra things that you can do. And if we come down, there it is there. There's the default location of where it saves files by default when I download them, but I want to be asked where to go because I might want to change where I particularly uh, download that file. So I just go click and away we go. Okay, and we cover a lot more of this in our uh, Zero courses, our uh, Google Chrome courses, our Windows courses, it sort of goes across the board and there'll be more on that next time, uh, some more shortcuts that you can uh, implement with Google Chrome. Mark Mannering signing off and see you again soon. Thanks, bye.